Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel, How You Figure. I'm Justin, and in today's video, we got a great one. We are gonna be having a first look, a first look at the new Dark Empire Luke Skywalker artisan and sculpted versions, and we're gonna be looking at that just announced Darth Maul with speeder set and the collector's edition version of Darth Maul. Let's jump into it. We're getting another Darth Maul, all right? We're getting another Darth Maul. For people like me who do not even have a Darth Maul yet, this is very exciting. I don't know how people feel that have the Darth Maul with Speeder already. Let me know in the comments below if you have that figure and how you feel about this announcement. But for me, I don't have a Darth Maul. And this was one of the very first Star Wars characters that I wanted. And I kind of held off because with the 25th anniversary of the Phantom Menace coming up, I was thinking they got to do another Maul. With as many Vaders as they're doing, there's definitely going to be another Darth Maul at some point. So I just decided to hold off. I'm very glad that I did. This is easily one of my most anticipated figures that has been announced since I've started collecting. I just think that I'm just very, very excited. I'm very excited to look through these uh, these pictures with everyone and to get my thoughts on them on this first look video. So let's get started here with Darth Maul with the Sith speeder. Um, yeah, this looks this picture right here just brings back so much nostalgia for the 25th anniversary. You kind of see, I kind of want to you know show y'all the speeder. But this figure right here just looks phenomenal. Just this picture, just for me, just the posability of it on the speeder looks absolutely phenomenal. And here we get a better version of this picture here with him on the speeder. I just think that this is going to look so badass. Like I'm like, I'm getting like that, that, you know how when you get excited, like you can't, you just can't contain it. And like you start just like maybe laughing or something. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited type of feeling. Um... Because I, I just, I, I was, it's one of those ones where I was expecting this announcement, but now that it's here and I can talk about it, it's like really exciting. So, um, yeah, this just looks really good. So I'm just gonna, again, I'm going through these pictures for the first time. Um, I'm going to be repeating myself a lot saying this looks great, but I'm going to try to give y'all a good first look here. But this just, the, the speeder to me and the way it's displayed and we can see this base here. I just really like that. I like how we have the different accessories right here we have just a really cool posability of the figure i love how this is set up to where it should be displayed like this i really really like that and it also looks like you'd probably be able to take the speeder off if you didn't want to have that displayed the whole time or maybe have him sitting in it which is really really cool so let's go to another image here um let me uh let me move this up a little bit so we can see both sculpts so here we go so we are getting two newly developed head sculpts with separate rolling eyeballs. If you know me and if you've watched my first look videos, you know that I love rolling eyeballs. I think it just adds such a great, just another dimension to the character, um, to the figure, and gives you a lot of different options, especially people that do uh, toy photography and stuff like that. I know that they would have to love the rolling eyeballs. I just love it because I like having different options for displays. The fact that we're getting two newly developed head sculpts is an amazing, an amazing announcement. Because not only do we get the this uh, open mouth version of Maul, but we get the more, you know, closed mouth version of Maul, which is like where we first see Maul. So that's going to be really exciting. I actually really love both of them, but I love this first head sculpt here. Just the more default face head sculpt. Again, you can still make him look really menacing with those rolling eyeballs. The eyes look fantastic. The paint apps on this, the sculpt just looks unbelievable. Just This just reminds me so much of The Phantom Menace, the build up for that movie. It's just, it's so incredible. Just an iconic character for people that grew up with the prequel trilogies and just Darth Maul, man. I mean, what, what else is there to say about him that hasn't already been said, but that hood look looks phenomenal. Yeah, We're, I mean, let's just, Sometimes you just got to look, you know, it, it's hard to even articulate it because sometimes you just got to look because it's, if it's a character you really like, you're going to just like first just admire the fact that you're getting a character you really love. And, um, again, this just looks really, really good. I love the material we look that, that we look, we're looking like we're getting here with this hood, with this robe. I really like that. It looks really, really good. Um, looks almost like the material that you'd get on that Vader cape, maybe a little bit of a thicker material, but that's really nice. Um, right here, we're going to zoom, we're going to kind of just show you the whole thing here. So right here, and you can see those gloves right here. It looks like, 
it looks like to me that the um, the hands are going to be gloved hands, and then you can pop those in. So it, it just for me, I don't know if y'all see that. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments here. But just for me, it's like it looks like you don't put the whole like with the Vader, like it goes up to here or whatever, and you got to put the whole thing in. This looks like the hand sculpt might be separate from that, unless that's just how the glove is. I mean, y'all let me know because I it that's just what it looks like to me. I would love it if it was just the hands. Simply because those Vader gauntlets, man, are tough, or those Vader gloves are really tough to put on. At least they were for me. But you can see more of this material. Again, for the longevity of the figure, I love this material. I mean, we're getting this cloth material. It's almost Jedi robe material. We're getting some some nice material here. It's 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 a off gray and black color, which you know it, it's going to pick up a little bit more of that dust and stuff like that. But it's going to stay, you know, I feel like the longevity of it's going to be better. You know, I know a lot of people would like the Qui-Gon figure and stuff like that. They have to, that figure can get kind of dirty. And we've kind of discussed that with like the material for Padme with that type of that cream colored, like white colored material. But, uh, and right here we get this. I don't know if we're getting a split cut boot, which is unfortunate. I was hoping we would maybe get a split cut boot with this figure, but based on this photo, uh, let's see if we can find something else. Um, Right hand, right here is him without the uh, the robe, and again, this is just another incredible look, especially if you're going to be uh, posing him with Qui Gon, and hopefully now we're definitely going to get the Padawan Obi Wan. I mean, th that to me, this to me almost makes me feel like we're almost guaranteed to get the Padawan Obi Wan for the 25th anniversary. Like I just really feel like they want to be able to give us Qui Gon, Obi Wan, and Maul to recreate that scene. Um, yeah, still can't see anything on the boots. Just, I mean, he's just looking good, man. And there he is with the open face sculpt, um, or the open mouth sculpt, excuse me, um, just looking good. And then, you know what, guys? I think we do have a split cut boot. I do think we have a split cut boot down there. I'm sorry if I'm talking really close into the mic. I leaned in. I think that's a split cut boot, which is amazing, which is amazing if we get that. That would be phenomenal. Um just for posability and, and just different things like that. But see here, see, this is what I'm, I'm just so confused, man. I guess we're not because that picture made it look like we were. And now it's making it look like we're not. So I guess I was wrong. That picture looked like it was a split cut, but maybe that was just this part on the heel right here. So this doesn't look split cut to me, which again, again, it's a slight negative for posability, but I would have loved to have seen that um, with this figure. Look at this head sculpt though, you guys. Look at this head sculpt. It's incredible. Look at the paint. Look at the age lines on the forehead. Just it, it just looks so good. The teeth. I mean, just everything. Just looking good, man. I just love this, man. This is my. This is how I'm gonna be presenting it for sure. I, I just love this, dude. This with the hood on for me is gonna be the way to to pose this figure for me. I just I would love that. I I love the more like calculated, you know, default look for Maul just because it's more like. I feel like that's when we first saw Maul, and that's the memories I have is like when you first saw Maul, you're like, dude, who the hell is this? This is so cool, you know? So that just looks really, really good. Those eyes, man, are going to be those, – those eyes look phenomenal. They look fantastic. You can kind of see more of this uh, this sculpt here. Just great work here with these images. And are we back? Is this the front picture? No. Okay. So we're back here. We can kind of see again him just with posed with the speeder here. We also got him with this jump look here. And yeah, the more I'm looking at it, you guys, I guess this is just a regular boot. Um, you know, but that's okay. I mean, again, I, I would have loved a split cut boot just for posability and stuff. But hopefully the, this still gives us some some posability in the legs there. Um, again, I, I probably plan on having him... Uh, with the speeder, but again, once I get that Qui-Gon and that Obi-Wan, if they announce the Obi-Wan, that's going to be a really cool, I would love to kind of have that set up for that scene. Um, but yeah, man, this is just looking so good. This is just looking so good. And here he is sitting on the speeder again, just phenomenal set here. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal piece. Um, I'm very excited about this and we can kind of see here. I mean, you're getting a little bit of posability, but just not enough in those split cut boots. Again, I, I don't mean to keep harping on it, but I, I do want to mention that because I'm kind of going on and on about how great this figure looks and how excited I am for the release. But that's the one thing that I kind of wish they would have had if I'm being very, 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 uh, picky. Um, but he just looks so good, man. We haven't even talked about the lightsaber. I mean, the lightsaber looks great. Hopefully this gives off a really good light. I don't know if this is... 
it, you know, if this is going to be USB or what. Um, they really haven't said, so I'm thinking maybe not. But yeah, dude, this figure, and there he is again, just looking, just looking so cool. I mean, if again, if you grew up with the prequels, even if you're somebody who appreciates the prequels, or even if you didn't like the prequels, I think you can be like, man, yeah, Maul's a badass, dude. Maul's a, yeah, that's a great character I want to have in my collection. So, again, if you already have the other Maul, I don't know how you feel about this announcement. Let me know in the comments below. For me, this is a no-brainer, day one pre-order for me. Um, definitely going to be day one pre-ordering this figure. Enhanced facial features and paint applications. That is unbelievable you can kind of see the differences here i'm going to show you the top and then i'll move um i'll move out of the way here so you can see the bottom but you can just see the difference in the two i mean that again now i just said like hey if you already have that other figure look at the difference here i think that there is a vast improvement personally with this top one like that top one looks a lot better the bottom one i don't think is as, as big of a deal and, and i'll kind of uh move him so you can kind of see this here i just think that this is you know the right one's just more accurate you know i don't know if it's again if you have the other mall if it's enough for you to make the upgrade but for me who doesn't have it i mean i'm, I'm definitely excited and uh and i just think that those head sculpts look great and the paint apps on this new one just look so so good um, let's go to the next one and here we get to our uh, spot where we get to see the entirety of the figure again you get that you know you get that base with the sith speeder you get the led light up function powered by usb so the speeder is powered by usb which is fantastic news absolutely fantastic news again we get the two newly developed head sculpts with separate rolling eyeballs great news there we get these different accessories right here that you can see in the middle we get the led lightsaber powered by usb fantastic 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 news that is great news to hear hopefully because um, i really like the way they did the vader uh, the Kenobi Vader, so I'm definitely excited about that. And we get new tattooed robe, or no, new tattooed robe, new tailored robe with enhanced setting. Is that what that says? With enhanced fitting. My goodness, I'm sorry, guys. I can't read today. Newly tailored robe with, en with enhanced fitting. Yes, the robe looks phenomenal. All this looks phenomenal. You can see what we talked about earlier. These are hands that you interchange, so that is great news as well. It's going to be a lot easier to change out those hands instead of having to change out the entire uh, glove like you do with Vader. Yeah, dude, this looks really, really good. And, oh, look at here, guys. Event exclusive from the power of the dark side, the commemorative coin. So this is going to be one that they're going to want to incentivize you to pre-order early. They want to probably have you pre-order this in the next few weeks if you want to get that commemorative coin. I don't mind getting the coin. I was going to day one pre-order this anyway, with or without the coin, but that's a cool exclusive to have um, because this has been a really cool event. I mean, this has been a fun event that Hot Toys has put on. So, Oh, here we go. Special edition bonus for selected markets. You get that commemorative coin. So very, very cool. So event, oh, okay, so I'm getting it now. Yeah, event exclusive. I'm sure you have to be at that event more than likely. And then special edition bonus for selected markets, uh, that commemorative coin that you would get for ordering online. And then we're back to the front picture. Just looking great. And just real quickly, we won't spend too much on uh, time on it because it's basically the same thing. But we also get just a regular collector's edition of Darth Maul here. And um, I'm going to go in here. I would just want to show you the difference here. You get this base right here. Now, guys, okay, so I know I keep going back and forth on this, but somebody help me out with this. Is this just the way the boot is cut, or is that somewhat of a split-cut boot? I'm not even going to lie. I don't know this, so let me know in the comments. Some people out there that are a lot smarter than me, let me know uh, that. This base is almost like a hexagon base here, which is very, very interesting to come with that collector's edition. I haven't seen that base, I feel like, in a long time, uh, if at all, so... That base looks really good. Again, you're kind of seeing this mall. Um, it looks like this mall is is the same mall. You just don't get the Sith speeder. Um, I don't mean to just go through this so quickly, guys, but it's pretty much what we've already seen. I'm just gonna gonna go through here and just make sure that I'm not missing anything. Yeah. So you're just not getting the Sith speeder. You're not getting the. You still can get the coins. I, I stand correct. I was about to say you couldn't, and you do. So again, it's really depending on if you want that Sith speeder or not. Me personally, 100% getting it. This is 100% a day one pre-order for me. And now we're going to kick it over to Luke. We're going to kick it over to Luke Skywalker, Dark Empire from their Legends line. I know a lot of people, a lot of people that love Star Wars are super excited about this Legends line. 
I am all about this figure as well. I just think it looks great. The artisan aspect is really, really cool. I really like this uh, look for the character. I think it's a cool, like, you know, for me, I... It's pr if I can get the artist and I'm going to, if for nothing else, just that head sculpt, man. And, you know, uh, again, not saying the, the figure doesn't look great, but like, I just, I, I really want that head sculpt, that artist and head sculpt. And um, we're also going to look at the sculpted hair as well. But I don't have the biggest, you know, this Legends line, like for me, is like, I'm, I base most of my Star Wars collecting on the live action movies, even the, the, the television shows and stuff like that. But I'm very happy for people that are going to go all in on this Legends line. I'm going to have to pick and choose from this line. This is this is one to me that I really am interested in. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say it's a day one pre-order just because, again, we get that you see a lot of this Vader in this costume. Obviously, of course, it's Dark Empire Luke, but I do like the um, the cloak here. I do like the head sculpt. I think it looks great. So for me, man, it might be a one where I'm thinking about just picking up the the head sculpt, which. In return, again, for me, it's like I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this, but I'm not going to say it's a day one pre order for me unless I can get the artisan. So we're going to kind of go through this and look, but this just looks phenomenal. This just looks phenomenal. I mean, I have an attachment with Luke, not so much Dark Empire Luke, but I feel like this figure just looks great, man. That head sculpt to me just looks really, really good. Um, the eyes there, I mean, I don't know, man. Let me know in the comments what y'all are thinking about this one because I, I, I think it looks really good. I'm obviously more excited for the mall announcement, but the artisan aspect of this Luke Skywalker, I just wish that it would have been an artisan Luke Return of the Jedi um, 40th. That would have been my personal preference, uh, his look in Return of the Jedi 40th. So again, I'm kind of thinking about that Mando figure. I'm kind of thinking how cool would this head sculpt look on that Mandalorian figure, all this different stuff. Um, but yeah, I just think, it, I mean, he just looks really, really good. Again, the only concern I have is, again, as always with the Vaders, that material, that Vader material with the gloves and the and the legs and, and, the, uh, and stuff like that. So, but you can just see how good this figure looks, man, in my opinion. I mean, he just, the rolling eyeballs look really good. The head sculpt looks really good. I think the hair looks good. I mean, again, it's, I'm surprised that it's an artisan, if I'm being totally honest with you guys. Like, I had, I... I saw the teases for this figure, but I am shocked that it's an artisan. Like that was a big, big surprise for me when I saw that this was an artisan, um, an artisan figure here. But again, more of the same pictures, um, kind of going through. It's kind of like a lot of the same images here, which is interesting. But yeah, I mean, green cyber, green lightsaber looks great. I'm sure that's going to be USB powered. I'm sure his belt's going to be USB powered. Um, I'm trying to get to where maybe the base is here. Have I just been going through these pictures? Like, is that? Is that all? Okay. I apologize, guys. I thought there'd be... I mean, I was wondering. I was like, these look like the same. But, um, yeah, I guess there's no... They're not showing off the base and all that stuff yet. So, let's go to the sculpted one and see if we can find anything like that. So, here's the sculpted one, which, again, I think looks really good as well. Again, it it, it, it just depends on if you like the Dark Empire look, if you're going to really go in on the Legends look. This figure, I'm going to be honest with you, I think it looks great. I'm still unsure if I'm going to pick it up, the, the mall is a definite day one pre-order, but again, I don't have a Luke Skywalker yet. So I kind of want my first Luke to be something I have more of a connection with, but this is hard to pass up. Dude. I mean, this looks really good, dude. This just looks really good. And, uh, I don't know, man, maybe I can pre-order this and just still go ahead and get another Luke. And that can be my first Luke. And cause this looks good. I mean, the sculpted hair, dude, I mean, the artisan's the artisan, but this sculpted hair, this might be the version for me because again, I don't have that connection to the dark, the dark empire version of the character, but the sculpted could be an option. It could be a more affordable option. And, uh, the artist is definitely going to be a limited piece and a piece that people are going to want, but maybe for someone like me who just really thinks it looks cool, but isn't super attached to this version of Luke, maybe that's the better option. Cause this sculpted hair looks phenomenal in my opinion. I mean, I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments, but that looks great. Um, again, we're seeing more of the same and I just want to make sure I'm not going to go through all these pictures again. This one's set up a little differently than the mall where I feel like they only give you a few pictures. Let's see real quick. Yeah. So I've just been going through the same pictures guys, for whatever reason, there's only like four of these pictures that, uh, that they give you or a few of these pictures. So no base and stuff like that. Um, let me look real quick. 
just make sure that there's no Yeah, so I'm just going to kick it back over here to the artist and to close this out because, again, they I, I don't see any of the accessories or base that come with this. They haven't really said anything. I can just almost guarantee you just by looking at this picture, we're going to get a USB lightsaber. We're going to get a USB belt here. I'm assuming we're going to get just a standard base, which is weird for an artisan, but I feel like if the base would have been really cool, they would have showed that by now, but maybe they're waiting to show that with another announce or with, like, you know, a later date or something. I don't know, but... Um, but yeah, I would assume this is going to be a limited piece. Um, let's see. Okay, let's just read this real quick. Inspired by the um, blah, 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 one six scale from the Artisan Edition. This is an exclusive release right here. This is important. Exclusive release with limited... Let me pull this up a little bit. Limited quantity of 3,500 pieces only in selected markets. So 3,500, man. This is going to go immediate. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. Um, a meticulously tailored armored suit and LED light up belt boxes to recreate his look inspired by the Dark Empire legend. Weapons and accessories is also included, such as both Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader's lightsabers. That's so sick. With LED light up function, there we go. Interchangeable lightsaber blades emulating the weapon in motion in the display base. So there's the display base too. It didn't mention that it was going to be, you know, who knows? I don't know if it's going to be standard or what. We I haven't gotten a picture of that yet. Uh, and then we also get a special commemorative coin features Luke Skywalker and is included to further enhance your experience. Uh, as you can see, uh, for people who pre-order it, hot toys, star Wars, the power of the dark side exhibition in Hong Kong. Yeah. So again, we're going to get the same type of stuff there with that, um, with that figure. So yeah, let's hear my final thoughts on the outro. Come on, let's hang out over there. Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel, How You Figure. I'm Justin, and in today's video, we got a great one. We are gonna be having a first look, a first look at the new Dark Empire Luke Skywalker artisan and sculpted versions, and we're gonna be looking at that just announced Darth Maul with speeder set and the collector's edition version of Darth Maul. Let's jump into it. 